Meghan Markle was seen in the British public for the first time in two years last week for the Her Majesty's Service of Thanksgiving as part of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Duchess of Sussex wore a pale coat dress with an oversized collar for the occasion. Jesus Enrique Roses, a.k.a. the Body Language Guy, studied Meghan's body language from arriving at St. Paul's Cathedral to sitting through the service and then leaving. He highlighted a regular move Meghan made which suggested she was nervous. Meghan wore an haute couture dress by Dior, a crisp trench coat dress in the color grayish, which featured a buckled belt and oversized club collar, cropped sleeves and a storm flap across the back. Upon exiting the car, Prince Harry made sure his wife was looking her best, and gestured to her to check the collar of her dress, which she did. Jesus commented, When I was checking the footage, I noticed everyone was mentioning Meghan fixing her collar and it was always the left side, something has to be said about pacifying gestures. We do this kind of gesture to calm ourselves, it can be fixing our clothes or touching our faces, or in the case of Harry, touching his, wedding, ring. This is a way to vent stress and it actually works, that's why we do it. But at the same time, we are telling the world we are nervous, he suggested. In the case of clothing, maybe the fit isn't right and we feel a bit uncomfortable, but for any fitting adjustments, we usually pull, pull sleeves, skirts. But this was a very deliberate move for her. Megan, to touch her collar flap, she's not really adjusting any fitting. Megan's signature style is impeccable tailoring, and fashion experts say her outfit choices are neither in nor out of fashion they are just timeless. The Duchess will likely have had several fittings for this dress, to ensure it sits perfectly on her body. The body language guy also took a look at Megan's facial expressions. He commented, don't be fooled by Megan's smile, she was also uncomfortable at times. Jesus then referred to several moments when Megan was caught standing and smiling, but Jesus noticed her neck muscles are really tense. The expert went on to claim there was a good reason for that tension, the reaction from the public when they entered the cathedral. Megan and Harry received a mixed reception from the public outside the cathedral, reports have said a blend of boos and cheers was heard. In terms of the rest of Megan's outfit, underneath the trench coat, she wore a coordinating woolen silk blend skirt and an organza shirt and a pair of matching leather gloves. Her shoes were also by Dior, and are the Dean Wapumps in a custom grayish fabric, priced at £590. To complete the look, she accessorized with a wide brim straw hat which was designed by Stephen Jones Millinery for Dior. Megan's earrings were her Burke Snowflake Snowstorm Diamond earrings, said to be valued at around £11,251. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle's ex-pal Lizzie Cundy believes that the former actress and Prince Harry will share a private glimpse into the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations with Netflix. It was previously revealed that Netflix had been dealt the ultimate royal blow and had not been approved for accreditation over the course of the weekend, despite Harry and Meghan's deal with the company. But Meghan's former friend, who she ditched after meeting Prince Harry, claims the couple may have taken personal footage to share with the streaming giant. Lizzie said, Let's wait for the Netflix show that comes out, I'm sure we'll see far more than the Queen or the other royals would want on there. There's a reason or purpose they're here, sadly for me, I don't think it's for the Queen, I think it's for Netflix, for the money and the right thing for her to do, in my eyes, would be at the side of her father who's had a massive stroke. Netflix has been banned but I'm sure they will find a way. The television star continued, they were told they wouldn't be on the balcony but they were determined to be part of this. It is fair to say the royals are more worried about Meghan than, Prince, Andrew. Sources previously told that should the crew attempt to film the Sussexes from public areas, they would have been be moved on. Netflix crews had been allowed to travel to public spots along with the millions of those celebrating but stewards would have instantly asked them to move should they attempt to put any filming gear up. Lizzie previously told, maybe they could take a leaf out of the Queen's book and see how one should behave. They decided not to be royals. They didn't want to be working royals, they didn't want to do the royal duties so they should have the decency I feel to stay away.